Okay, so I'm going to show you how the Saver port forwarding application um, has been developed and how it works. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just explain to you a little bit about uh, how the port forwarding works. Basically, it means that when you've got an, in, uh, an internet IP address coming into one particular computer and you need to uh, link or port forward to another device, it could even be a biometric reader that you want to connect from outside from the internet. Um, so long as you know the IP address or the domain name uh, coming into your network, um, you can then use the Saver port forwarding tool to be able to connect to something locally on that network. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto a local machine, uh, which is this one over here, which is on our local network. And um, if I show you the address on this computer, let me just find it for you quickly. This is one of our servers, if you want to call it that. It's just a normal workstation, or I think maybe this is a server, I don't even know. Um, but uh, just to give you an idea, I'm going to go and look at the um, adapt options. Okay, so there's one Ethernet uh, adapter here. And if I go look at the status of that adapter, um, you see it's on my local network. Uh, it's 192.168.1.2. And I want to connect from this machine, from the internet, onto this machine, which is a it's set up at the moment as a DMZ. So everything comes to this computer, and then I do port forwarding to connect to other computers locally on this network. And um, just to show you exactly how that works now, I'm just going to go out of there. And this is the folder for the Saber port forward mapping. Now you can install it um, by running the install over here. And then you can start it and stop it with those two batch files. And you can uninstall it with that one. Um, but I first want to just start by going to the settings. If you run it as an application, you run that one over there, which is obviously the main application. So if I go to settings, we'll see how this works. You've got your different port forwarding strategies that you've set up over here. I want to connect to the CRM server, which is on 1.4. Okay. And it's port number 81 coming in, and the local port is port 81 that I want to point to. If you had multiple biometric devices, you could point to your biometric device on separate IP addresses, and uh, on the local side, they would all be pointing to a different IP address for each device, but the same port number for each device. I think it's 4703 for the ZKTCO products. Anyway, so you can choose whether you're using TCP IP or UDP. In this case, you can see I used both, pointing both to the same, because I wasn't sure whether it's TCP or UDP. Um, place images. Uh, this, this is going from uh, 1.2 to 1.10, which is another server, and that's port 80. So anything looking into this web, into this domain, will go to that address over there. Um, just to show you that. Um, that I'm on the internet here. Let me just show you what the local IP address is that comes onto this machine. Now I'm going to close that. Um, this is the this is just the batch file that's creating those um, those settings, which you can do manually, or you can do it through the through the setup settings program. Um, and this here is a console. If you want to run this. There you can see the mappings and you can see what they're doing. So anything coming in on port 81 has been routed to 1.4 port 81 and anything that's going on port 80 is going to 1.10. Uh, so I can leave that one running just to show you how it works. But um, I just wanted to show you what the local IP address is, the internet, the internet IP address is. So let me just see if I can, well, let me go to my, oh, there we go, it's coming on now. Just a bit slow. So if I say what is my IP, you'll see that my internet IP is 4178244.117. So if I go to this machine now, which is uh, cloud.saverbiometrics.com, which is sitting on the internet, it's actually sitting in America. Um, if I go there, 
and um, I want it to connect to the CRM which is sitting on on crm.saverbiometrics.com port 81 but just to show you that it is pointing to the local internet IP address I just want to run a DOS prompt over here I just want to run a CMD command okay so if I say ping crm.saverbiometrics.com you will see the IP address it's pointing to is that same IP address okay there's no reply because of the um, the machine the PC is not allowing a, a ping reply back but that is the IP address that it's pointing to okay and uh, the proof of it like I say on the local side if I minimize that again you'll see that's the same IP address so basically if I go back to here and I go to that IP address that you saw there without using the name then the international server is a bit slow gone oh, let me just kill that I'm not sure what's wrong with it but anyway let's just close that if I go back in here again I'll point to that IP address which is my local internet IP address and port 81 I should connect straight through to that second machine just trying to get any of the sessions open here with the with the Chrome one of the Chrome sessions open Okay, so if I go here to HTTP colon and I'll point to, oh no, that's local, and just point to the address there, which is 41.78.244.117. Remember that IP address, you should see it's the same IP address that's there. So if I go colon 81. Now I'm connecting to the Sugar CRM to my website. Now by putting the, the name in, which is where I'm routing it to, I'm routing it to that same IP address, obviously it'll still go to the same place. So if I say crm.saber.com all of that. Colon 81. I'm getting to the same place. Okay, now to prove that it's going to go down, if I go back here and if I close this, I'll stop that run running. And I go back again to here. Now it shouldn't connect. Enter. Now it'll come back with an error because it can't connect to that server anymore because the port forwarding is off. There you go, you can see it's got an error. It's not connecting. To prove it's working one last time, I'm going to go back here again. And I'm going to run the console. You can just run this and so just keep it minimized. Okay, now, if I run that, I'll go back here again and I refresh, it should work. And here you go, it's up and running again. Okay, hopefully that's enough to understand how it works.